Hey guys, uh, this is the update on uh, my avocado trees. It's October 3rd, uh, 2024. Um, I didn't post any videos pretty much during the summer. Uh, there's not much going on. Uh, the trees are doing fine up until that last heat wave. Um, trees got burned bad. You can see the bark on this, it's like completely brown. Um, avocados completely brown just burnt um, this Carmen had like four avocados on it now it only has two <laughs> uh, the other ones one vanished in the thin air probably an animal um, as you can see it, they got tree got fried um, during that last heat wave it had a lot of new growth and this is pretty much what's left of the new growth it just left the stems um, it looks like it's pushing out new growth and just in time for another heat wave so uh, but this is a Carmen it got pretty much fried uh, and like I said it has two little fruit one looks like it's pretty damaged the other one is in the shade so it looks that one looks all right but um, a lot of the leaves were like just like this just crispy crispy from they just burned um, but uh, other than that that Carmen it, it survived it still going up a lot of new growth up on top again just in time for the heat wave this is a a Gwen a Gwen did pretty darn good uh, very very little damage from the heat um, there's some leaves you could sort of see they get little very little damage though but that's the Gwen it's small uh, it's actually I'm I'm five nine it, it's right around like five five eight ish or so but uh, that's the Gwen the Carmen right here they pan over hopefully not too fast um, this the Esther. Esther was doing pretty good and it got some damage but not too bad. Um, I've noticed this one has new growth this right around this time. Um, the new growth was starting to get wilted a little bit but uh, I started watering it. It pep, perked up real, real quick. Um, the bacon, bacon, very, very little damage. Only, I want to say, only on the the south side of the tree, got the leaves got a little toasty, but uh, for the most part, it's doing pretty good. Um, the only drawback to this is the the squirrels, the possums, the raccoons, <laughs> and who knows what else. They're uh, they're attacking this tree daily daily nightly um they uh, it had a whole bunch of avocados now i i don't know i haven't counted them but it has way way less i find them on the floor they're half eaten or they're just completely gone um and it's weird because they're chewing on the bark or on the stems of the branches and they'll cut off the whole entire branch so I don't know what it is I haven't caught them yet but I know the squirrels are up to no good we have like four squirrels I want to say six raccoons there might be more <laughs> um, the possum I've seen two so and rodents uh, my mice take care of the rodents uh, small mice and whatnot uh, but uh that's uh the bacon and uh the ester ester's looking good though not too bad here we are with the the lamb lamb has uh this one's doing all right um it's starting to the leaves are starting to uh the tips are burning but it's fall and uh, that's usually what it does so um we picked off every last fruit on this again the the animals, the rodents, they're, they're all rodents. 
they uh, started attacking this tree as well. They had actually, this tree was pretty safe. They never really bothered it. And then we came out and they started eating the avocados on it. So we picked them all and been eating them. We have uh, maybe maybe about a dozen we picked off. So and it, it's kind of good because they're ripening at, at different stages. They, I would I would I would have thought they were gonna ripen all at the same time, but they didn't. Um, but the tree's doing fine. Uh, tons of mulch on it. Um, I need to fertilize them. I haven't fertilized them. But uh, anyhow, this is this is a lamb. It still still growing straight up. We didn't chop it, so that was uh, my girl's choice. She didn't want to chop it, so I'm like, all right, we'll let it grow. Anyhow, that's the lamb. And here we are with the Pinkerton. Pinkerton got topped. <laughs> I cut off the top. It was getting too straggly, too tall. Um, and it was very, very sparse. Uh, it's still, as you can see, it's still sparse. But as soon as I topped it and we trimmed off some, some other branches, it started uh, setting off a whole bunch of new growth. There's a whole bunch of little well leaves that are gonna come out no it's not not flowers so it's uh too early in the season for that but all new growth is coming out a lot of new growth just from trimming it so um i was worried about this tree it, it looked in bad shape so um there was a pretty decent sized branch here and another one on this side um and they had avocados I just cut them off um, just it needs the energy for for the leaves so I just chopped the fruit on it and it looks better though it looks better more leaf growth so hopefully it fills out so anyhow that's the Pinkerton uh, they pan over here this is the the Charwell Charwell do, did real well in the heat um, I'm thinking because it's shaded <laughs> there's a uh, some big old trees. We have a soapberry tree, a pepper tree, and a mulberry tree fairly close to it. Um, but they shade it. The parts that did get uh, sun are pretty crispy. So, but uh, for the most part, it did well. It did real well. It has a a lot of mulch. Um, the, the the straw bales they they're breaking down. We use them for our tree. So, um, but they started breaking down. So we just packed them up with. Uh, with mulch and when you you move that that straw around or, or you move it it's just covered in worms in there so but the charwa is doing good it looks good look very green very lush um, and hopefully uh, next year it flowered this year it had a few avocados they they dropped though um, and they'll do that for whatever reason they know why they, they know when they're gonna hold fruit when they're not uh, anyhow that's the Charwell. Here we are with the the reed. Reed got pretty toasty again on the south side of the tree. Um, this one is real close to a fence, so the the squirrels the squirrels have at this tree big time. This was this had a lot of fruit. It had a lot of fruit this year, and the squirrels made quick work of that. And the sad part is that they weren't even eating the whole avocado. They just bite it, knock it down, eat half the avocado, and just leave it there. Uh, so it's kind of sad. Um, the heat, when it was hot uh, a few weeks ago, the heat actually took down some of the avocados. So these these stuff are the heat. Um, but uh, other than that, it's holding, or it, it was holding a maybe maybe like three four avocados <laughs> another three four avocado year so that's too bad and it was loaded but it's doing all right like i said one one side the south side got burned got burned pretty bad um it's whitewashed too and just probably had to be re-whitewashed and as you could see it some of these branches look this is completely died and um maybe maybe i need to trim some of this some of this tree off uh like i said for the 
Oh, there's another avocado up here. Um, but, uh, yeah, I might need to give it a trim, stimulate some new growth or something for, uh, we gotta wait till this heat wave is done though. So this is uh, from a Zutano. I tried to graft it, it didn't work out. The, I, I had put three three little stems to try to graft on there. All three dried up, so. But sh shot off a whole bunch of new growth too. Um, that one's doing fine it's in the pot. Again, it was, like I said, it was a Zutano zutano seedling but uh here's a reed again may pan over here hopefully not too fast uh, reed reed still not in the ground um this is doing well leaves got really big lush green um this uh a jam another jam right here uh we got to get that in the ground as well not right now though just because it's too hot um but they're doing well, doing real good. Um, this this is black. It, it's a when you trim it off. I noticed that we trimmed off a, a little branch that's growing on the bottom, and uh, so I had to cover it up. It, it's tree coat. There, there we go. I, I was trying to think of the name of it as tree coat. So I just need to whitewash it, but it left that black stain. And I did it like that because that's where the graph was and I noticed the graph it had like it had original it had tree coat on it from when they grafted it but for some reason it, it looked like some of the bark was falling off so I added the tree coat it looked like it's doing all right now but uh that's the reed and like I said the jam over here um over here we have a this is uh I want to say this is a Gwen and uh it's branching out again these these are under the canopy just they're not doing too well in the sun um the tree trunk on this is getting nice getting pretty thick uh not too bad for little 20 dollar seedlings um the lamb another lamb has um it's doing all right uh looks a little <laughs> a little leggy it's kind of tall and Maybe maybe uh, trim that top, just pinch off the top so it stops growing up. Try to get it. But like I said, we need to get these in the ground. And uh, I got one more tree to show you guys. Uh, yeah, I'll put you guys on pause. And here we are with the gem. Gem's bushing out, big time. No fruit on it, dropped every, every last fruit. So uh, it's not doing real well as far as holding fruit. But as, get, as far as leaf growth it's doing well it's bushing out real good um, I pinched off a few of these branches and it's still growing out this way but uh, I guess pinching off the the ends made it bush out so as you can see the top the top is uh, bushing out real nice the center centers kind of open but uh, this is the gem the the tree trunk on the bottom finally growing it's finally thickening up um, you can see just from the the whitewash how the whitewash is stretching out so um, so you, you could tell the that it's starting to increase in diameter which is good um, hopefully hopefully next year uh, we'll get some fruit growing we had fruit growing on it the, the first uh, well when I first planted it had a fruit and then the second year had another couple little fruits but someone picked those off uh, anyhow this is the gem and like i said it's doing good this uh this actually withstood the the sun pretty good uh very little very little damage on it um it's pushing out new growth right now hopefully uh it does all right but like i said this one this one hung in there did well in the heat so oh that was my update for uh, October. Um, like I said, not much going on other than the trees. Some got burned, some did real well, and uh, they're starting to push out new growth for the fall.